guys um welcome back to my youtube channel i know that it's been a little bit since i have recorded anything um i don't really know why i stopped recording uh the trial i just felt a little bit exhausted with having to vlog every single day and um needed a bit of like a mental health cleanse and I got that um, by not vlogging and uh, YouTube was a bit of a mess with everything going on and because I am such a beauty lover I felt a little bit impacted by what was going on and I just I don't know I didn't feel motivated to uh, record anything but I do have good news I the rest of the, my trial went great. Um, I was going to record on Mother's Day, which was a week ago today. Um, that was really the first day that I started to notice that the neurostimulator trial uh, was working. For those who don't know, um, my mom lives about 35, 40 minutes away from me and I was unable to see her or drive to go see her for quite some time since before Christmas actually and on Mother's Day I was able to drive out by her and we went to a couple of stores and I haven't been able to do that in a very long time and then Monday the day before my trial was taken before the temporary stimulator was taken out um, I was feeling really good and Max and I went to this outside mall that's over here um, by my house it's called the promenade and it's like an outside mall and we walked around and we went to Barnes and Noble and a couple of stores that we've been wanting to go to um, and then we came home for a little bit and then we went out to dinner and then we went to Goodwill and I remember I looked over at him and I said to him like when was the last time we were able to do something like this and he said never so that should just tell you how helpful it was to me even my doctors on tuesday when they took the temporary simulator out were able to see a difference in me which is pretty cool the doctors think that i am getting between 60 to 70 percent relief from the stimulator which is amazing amazing and we were all really nervous that it wasn't going to work, so the fact that it did is amazing. And I noticed the difference immediately when he took the temporary leads out of my spine. Um, I had driven to the appointment and then I drove back because I wanted to compare um, like how my back was feeling and I noticed it right away. Um, so that is a really, really good thing. We were really nervous. We weren't sure if it was going to work. And honestly, my future was kind of up in the air uh, if the neurostimulator didn't work because there are only a number of options to me at this point. So the fact that it worked and the fact that it gave me freedom and the fact that I won't have to be on morphine um, and that this can completely eliminate uh, the morphine aspect and even possibly deduct my uh, the other medications that I have to take. So I do have, still have to take Percocet. Um, and I took it three times a day instead of four when I was on the trial. Um, and I definitely feel like I wouldn't need the morphine um, with the neurostimulator. So that's exactly what we wanted to hear. That's exactly kind of what we wanted the neurostimulator to do. Uh, my doctor did say that it's not the best uh, results that he's ever had, but the fact that it can eliminate something so big like that and give me a little bit more of my freedom um, is amazing. And uh, the only thing that sucks right now is that I have to wait um, to get the permanent stimulator. The doctor is going on vacation and I don't know how long it's gonna take me to be able to get the permanent stimulator. Um, all I know is that I meet with the doctor on the 5th of 
June to make the appointment for the actual surgery for the permanent stimulator, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to get the actual permanent stimulator. I don't know how long the process is going to be. Um, at first they thought that I would go and be evaluated on July 25th, and I was like, that's just mean. If something works like this, you don't make a patient wait even longer to have like the permanent stimulator. I just think that's really mean. However, like I said, the doctor is going on vacation, so that puts my surgery, I don't know, possibly late June, early July. In the meantime, I just, I'm back on the morphine. Um, my pain came back almost immediately. My, the right side of my back was swollen for a couple of days and I felt the pain go down, going down my right leg and I just keep telling myself, this is temporary, this is temporary and eventually I'm going to have the permanent stimulator and, it's, and it helps. That's what I just keep telling myself, but that's where I'm at right now. Uh, obviously, I'll continue to update you guys and I will, um, I'll make sure that when I do have the permanent implant that I'll also document all that because I do feel like it's important um, and educational for other people who might be going through the same thing. So I'm going to cut this really short. I'm getting the permanent simulator. It, the temporary one worked. I got up to between 60 and 70% relief. That's amazing. I just have to play the waiting game, which does really suck, uh, but um, it is what it is, and this is just the process, so I just have to stay patient. Stay on top of the pain until um, I recover from the permanent implant, so. I just thought I would update you all um, and not leave you guys hanging, but this is just a short little update for you guys, and um, obviously, uh, if you want to, please, please subscribe and like if you want, leave a comment. Um, I'm trying to think of videos that I would like to put out there in the meantime, probably more diagnosis uh googling my diagnoses for you guys because i did find that that was kind of fun and educational and to put my perspective on uh what google's most uh, what people google man i can't talk it was a lot of fun <laughs> i'm gonna let you guys go and tonight is game of thrones finale don't spoil it for people who can't watch it right away because I can't watch it right away because Max is going to a tool concert tonight. So don't spoil it for other people. Don't. Don't be that guy. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.